When you think about trawl yachts, your mind will often contemplate boats designed to travel across vast oceans. But not all trawl yacht owners want to cross, for example, the Atlantic Ocean. Some boat owners are happy to explore rugged coastlines, stopping off at picturesque bays and going ashore to award-winning restaurants, which can be found nestled inside marinas. But at the same time, you want to avoid having to stay alongside just because the weather turns bad. And this is where the coastal trawler comes into play. True Love is a coastal explorer trawler style yacht and at the time of making this video is listed for sale with JMYS Yacht Brokers. She is a custom aluminium coastal trawler yacht with a flybridge. True Love is in fact hole number one and she was built in 2005. So join me in this video as we take a look around this unique boat with her distinctive sleek trawler yachts lines and equally distinctive accommodation. Before we check this boat out, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let's see how quickly we can get to 50,000 subscribers. Boarding the boat from her stern, you are met with a super yacht style staircase as it is located amidships of the vessel's transom. Handrails are neatly positioned either side of the stairs to help keep you steady as you ascend towards the large cockpit. The overhang from the vessel's boat deck provides a shaded area where you can relax with family and friends. To starboard there is an ice maker and refrigerator. A great feature of this boat is her wide side decks, high gunnels with handrails and the side gates for quick access to the dock. I also love the huge windows on the wheelhouse and the large scuppers which are vital for a boat as we'll be punching through some big seas. Inside the saloon, one of the first things that struck me was just how large the windows were. One thing is for sure, there won't be a lack of natural light or stunning views as you motor along the coast. Thanks to the freestanding furniture, an owner can pick their preferred layout when it comes to how this area is configured. The headroom is 6 feet and 10 inches, which is 2.08 meters. In between the saloon and galley is a conveniently located dayhead. The well-equipped galley has a Miele 4 burner electric cooktop with a barbecue grill. There's also a microwave and incinerator garbage disposal system, a brown trash compactor and a dumbwaiter which leads up to the flybridge. This galley is designed for a liveaboard owner. As such, there is plenty of storage space in the great number of drawers and cupboards. I love the fact that in this galley there's also a door that leads out onto the side deck. What do you think of the galley and where it is located? Let me know in the comments below. Next we come to the helm station. The engine control levers are on the starboard side next to the controls to the bow and stern thruster. Behind the captain's chair is a stairwell that leads up onto the flybridge which we'll take a look at in a minute. I like the fact that there's a footrest to help keep you comfortable during those long passages. The well laid out and clutter free helm station ensure that everything you need whether on passage or during docking manoeuvres is within easy reach. But what do you think of this helm station? Let me know in the comments below. Before we check out the accommodation areas and engine room, let's take a look at the flybridge. The helm console on the flybridge is located amidships. To port is a companion seating area behind which is another U-shaped seating area with a foldable table. When needed, the area can be protected from the elements thanks to the awning that can be stowed away when the weather allows. To starboard of the helm is another forward-facing bench. I absolutely love how well kitted out the helm station on the flybridge is. Everything you need is right where you need it. At the foot of the radar mast which is located aft of the flybridge, there are two large storage lockers as well as an ice chest. The vessel's boat deck is located aft of the flybridge and houses the boat's tender which is an Apex 15 rib with Yamaha 50 horsepower outboard engine. The tender is launched using a steelhead CT900 crane 
that has a maximum lifting capacity of 900 pounds. And now let us head below deck and check out the accommodation, starting with the aft VIP guest stage room that has two double beds as well as an ensuite. The layout of this boat is unique. The owner's cabin is forward and the owner's adult offspring would use this cabin. Access to this cabin is via a staircase that is located in the saloon. Moving forward and located midships is the guest cabin with a Pullman bunk. This area of the boat is also where we find the laundry and utility area and the guest head. As well as a freezer, there is also a melee clothes washer and dryer. When not in use, the guest cabin could also double up as an office which, if you happen to be a digital nomad when it comes to earning your living, is a handy thing to have on board a boat. The final cabin that we are going to look at is the owner's cabin. When the vessel was built, the owners, who are an older married couple, wanted to sleep in the same cabin, but not in the same bed, which is why there are two large beds in this cabin rather than one king or queen size bed. And now let's check out the engine room. Lovebird is powered by twin Yanmar 720 horsepower engines that as of January 2023 have 3,198 hours on them. These give her a top speed of 14 knots with a cruising speed of nine knots. Cruising at just under nine knots gives her a range of around 1,000 nautical miles. Her stabilization comes from Abtrak 370 digital active fins. She has two Northern Lights generators, a 30 kilowatt and 12 kilowatts one. She has a total of three fuel tanks, which combined can hold 1,710 gallons or 6,473 liters of fuel. Her freshwater tanks can hold 240 gallons or 908 liters of water. But what do you think of this engine room? Let me know in the comments below. At the time of uploading this video, True Love is listed for sale with JMYS Yacht Brokers for $999,950 US dollars. If you want to learn more about True Love, then I will leave a link in the video description. And remember, if you have access to a boat that you'd like me to feature on my channel, feel free to contact me. I will leave my email address in the video description. And finally, I want to say a big thanks to JMYS for letting me use their images and video footage in this video. Big thanks to my channel members for supporting my channel by becoming a member. Think of YouTube's channel membership as their version of Patreon. If you want to find out more, you can click on the link in the video description or click on the join button that appears underneath the video. Please don't forget to give the video a like because it means that more people on YouTube will get to see it. And also, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and to hit that notifications bell. Until next time, fair winds and following seas.